Hello, Internet! This is Lupino9 here of Howling Wolf Productions, here with my good friends... I'm Renton's Girl! And... I'm DJ Sapsoy. Yeah, no one cares. But this is Impromptu Trio News, where we take a look at interesting tidbits of information from the world of video games, anime, and quote-unquote entertainment. So, first on... Our list. Well, first of all, how are you two doing today, Renton's girl? I'm pretty good. DJ Sassily? Doing great. Took a really bomb shower. <sighs> so good. Yay, showers. Your orgasmic shower, I guess. Anyway, first on the roster here, let's bring up our outline. Oh, an, an interesting bit of controversy in the gaming community. The the Devil May Cry reboot redesign of the character Virgil. It's not Virgil! Captain America. <laughs> I say he's Spike from B Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but... Um... What is your problem, Ninja Theory? Easy, they like... Don't... Okay. Game companies, stop handing off your favorite franchises to companies with the term Ninja in them. We already know what happened to Metroid Other Baby. Do you want that to happen with Devil May Cry? Capcom hates us. Well, we already knew they hated us ever since the whole Mega Man fiasco, right? That's oh, cool. yeah. They, they hate us. No, they don't. They what? just, they just, <laughs> they're like, they're like caring but not caring parents. Caring but not caring parents? They, they, they milk the cash cow. They, they buy you all sorts of toys, but they don't show all the love and care that you really, you know what I'm not really. I just wanted a Mega Man game, and I wanted a Devil May Cry where the characters actually look like Devil May Cry. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah. But no, we get another fan fiction in 1080p because obviously the new Dante blatantly looks like the head of Ninja Theory. So. Yep. Does he really? Yeah, he does. I showed you the picture, didn't I? Oh. Well. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So. Get everybody, when Devil May Cry re reboot comes out, get ready to play as Gary Stu Dante. Also known as Brad Pitt. <laughs> also known as Brad Pitt. Or Twilight Jacob! Jacob. Yay. Yay. Okay, the next interesting bit of information, this kind of actually goes for my side of the video game spectrum, but yeah, apparently members of the... The members of the homosexual community have been claiming that the character Girahim from Legend of Zelda is can be claimed as offensive. Don't know why. I don't. Well, okay, yes, he's flamboyant, yes, and I mean his infamous line "It fills my heart with rainbows" is kind of awkward. But is that really a matter to be taken offense from? He's like one of the most interesting villains we've had in a Zelda game in a long time, rather than me, Ganondorf, me, Smash, I rule because me grew up in desert. Ah. I can already hear the dislike button clicking because of this news story. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> next up. So, the Assist Me series had its season finale? Yes, it really did, and I must say that had to have been probably... The best episode of Assist Me yet. It definitely showed off Maximilian's awesome creativity. And uh, if you are a fan of Marvel vs. Capcom, you must watch that series. I'm not even the, big, the biggest MCC fan, but I did like what I've seen in the two episodes that I've watched with you guys, and I would watch it, you know, if I had better internet access, but yeah! <laughs> Me, myself, I'm not in the fighting game community, but the videos are very entertaining, so whether or not you're a big fan of the fighting game community, or you're just a casual player, you will most likely enjoy Maximilian's Assist Me oh, series. Um, should we put a link on the yeah, description uh, box? Yeah. It'll, it'll be there. Yeah. yeah. Look down. <laughs> look down. <laughs> you hit the show more button. <laughs> yes, people, read the descriptions, okay? Read the descriptions for once! Oh, great! The Rutlington girl. Do uh, read the people. description box! People, <laughs> ignore the description <laughs> box! Oh my lord! <laughs> that's, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Alright, back oh. on Lupina's side of the realm with the bronies. Yay! Bro I'm just gonna be left alone here. So, the, the game-developing giant Bioware decided to do a bit of unorthodox 
outreach a couple weeks ago when they put a when they when they put a piece of fan art on their Facebook page depicting the character Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic wearing a suit of the armor from Mass Effect. And of course people went up in arms in their comments from from death threats to the people who work at Bioware to You're gay! I hate you! You're stupid! To yeah. comments like that to Oh my gosh, you guys are catering to the man children. I'm never buying any of your games again. Just shut up! God, please. <laughs> I mean, really, so, they put up a picture, it's not like they put up a statement saying everybody who buys our games is an idiot, it's like, <laughs> they just put up a picture! Alright, then now in anime news, uh, even though we're like a week late... Well, we didn't want to record this last week, so... <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Toonami has changed its schedule to the Lucky 7. Fuck the Lucky 7. Shut up! <laughs> no! <laughs> See, Lupina here isn't very fond of Eureka 7. The best episodes were the last three episodes. Either way it goes, if you're watching Toonami or you're kind of left out of the loop, please watch Toonami and watch Eureka 7. No! It is a great anime. Mechs, girls, well, women. You can mechs. get mechs and girls with G Gundam or Gundam Seed, even though Gundam Seed is basically the OC in space, but yeah. Well, if you don't want to see that, you can also tune in to catch Samurai Seven. It's also been added to the list. Anyway, and, so of, cor and of course, um, after the the coming again staple of Cash and Sins, which even though it's going to be ending soon, as we can all tell, it is it is a very good ride, is what we've been saying. So basically, if you haven't checked out Toonami, oh, another thing about Toonami, just because of their schedule change. They can't bring back the old shit yet! <laughs> you people need to stop being butthurt. At least they're trying to make an effort to put new anime out there. I'm serious. And, the, and all the people saying, where's my Sailor Moon? Where's my Dragon Ball Z? First of all, isn't there another kind of networking giant that has control of the whole Dragon Ball Z aspect of broadcasting right now? Nickelodeon! Oh, yeah. <laughs> well... To be more accurate, Nicktoons and... And they can't really bring back Sailor Moon because it's not really marketable anymore, so... And also, Channel 5 has their new Vortex schedule yeah, over by... Yeah, I was wondering about that. I saw a commercial for that and I was like, what the heck is this? Uh, it's what happened after four kids took that big dip down the shithole. Uh, four kids. You will be forgotten. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, other than that, I mean, Toonami, they cannot afford all the old shows right now. Their licenses are just way too expensive out of their budget. But please watch and please support. Even if you don't watch it, just keep the TV on the channel. Who cares? Give them ratings, God. Give them a break. <laughs> Cut them some slack. It's dude. been like five years. <laughs> if you really want to see Sailor Moon and you want the old Toonami, I suggest that you build a time machine. <laughs> And set it back to 1998, and go back then and do that. Otherwise, suck it up. If you're really that butt hurt about Toonami, go on Crunchyroll or something and just shut up. <sighs> okay, let's go towards something that is somewhat of a dying media. Television. Television. TV. <laughs> Anyway, Channel 5, which is the CW, has a new, uh, game show? Exploitation of Stupid People? <laughs> Called Oh Shit, I mean Sick. Um, <laughs> oh boy. This is basically Musical Chairs on Crack. Musical Chairs on Crack! <laughs> I'd like to call it Musical Chairs Extreme. <laughs> it's not even that! It's Wipeout meets musical chairs, and quite frankly, I think I would rather watch Wipeout if I was that bored. Wipeout's a better show. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, other than that, it's basically just a bunch of people running around the arena while some random band plays live in the center of it all. And well, they they play well-known artist songs. Okay, they play they play artist songs, but they're they're band. a random band. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so uh, that's pretty much it for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you want to see more random shows that are obviously meant to inflict pain on its contestants, 
go watch Oh Sit on the CW, whatever channel that is on your end of the spectrum. <laughs> okay, well, I want one more piece of video game news. So apparently people keep trying to um, slam Nintendo on who they think should be in Smash Brothers 4. And from what we've seen in the latest voting charts, we have this one random character from Xenoblade Chronicles. I don't know him because I have yet to play the game, even though... Um, yeah, Shulk from Xenoblade? I don't know who that is! That's such an <laughs> ugly name! Shulk? <laughs> what, what is Shulk? I don't know! Maybe they wanted to write... Maybe they wanted to name him Sulk, but they accidentally added an, a, an H, yeah. But, you know... After him, after him, we... Mike Jones! Mike Jones, I don't know why. For some reason, people want to put Mike Jones in the game. Mike but Mike Jones, Jones is at zero percent. <laughs> <laughs> and what is he from? Star Tropics? <laughs> what is Star Tropics? I've never heard of that. I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's a fan made game. <laughs> anyway, and next and on the list is like, Demon Lord Yirahim. Who is tied with N from Pokemon Black and White. I don't really get why people would want N in. He would just be another Pokemon trainer. And we all know how much fun it was to play as or against Pokemon trainer in Brawl. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they would give him better Pokemon. Although, you know, it's Black and White, so that is kind of relative. So, yeah. Other than that, everybody else is either 0 to 1%, and that means none of them matter. And they kicked out Travis Touchdown from the running. I'm mad. I'm mad. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. Oh, uh, <laughs> maybe people just don't care about no more heroes They anymore. do care. Oh, everybody, they care. Everybody loves Suda51. He is amazing, unless you ask someone like y um, Zero Punctuation's Yahtzee, who literally says, well, nowadays we're just watching Suda51 to make sure he doesn't hurt himself, but anyway. And here is a big topic on our little news show. That's the topic of the episode. Fandom. As we all know, like, especially with the rise of the internet, people are going to follow certain things and develop fandoms around those certain shows. But here's the thing. Are people getting too involved and too obsessed with their... <laughs> With their fandoms. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, fandoms, okay, it's great to be part of a fandom and things like that, and, you know, show support for something you like, whether it be the Brony fandom, or a certain, or the Narutards, or the anime fandoms and things like that, but some people just take it a little too overboard. It also goes with a lot of music fandom as well. Honestly, like, every time I'm on a forum of something, and I'm reading what people have to say about stuff, half, over half of it is just bitching. <laughs> bitching and moaning, because there's always some sort of argument, and, and the thing, this, this also goes back to people not liking other people's opinions. Yes, because, remember, remember everybody, opinions aren't things to be crucified over, they're just opinions, everyone has them. Everyone has them. You have to respect it's illegal. them. It's illegal to have an okay, opinion. Okay, yeah. Apparently on the internet, it's illegal to have an opinion. If you have an opinion, you have broken the law. And you shall be punished. With an argument over YouTube. <laughs> or something like yes, that. Yes, because YouTube arguments are the most valid arguments. Oh, and if you're watching this video, do not start a YouTube argument. Please. And please don't say anything stupid like first. <laughs> Yes, no first. <laughs> you know, someone's about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't! I will be so freaking pissed if they do. First! No! But back on topic, you know, some people just get too over-exaggerated and too crazy with their fandoms. I mean, come on! I mean, personally, with- Oh, and another thing with fandoms I have to say is, like, people- um, People who look at a fandom and and say, oh, this element of this fandom is is making the fandom bad, like the whole argument of Rule 34 ruins fandom, uh, it, especially in the Bronies, Rule 34 ruins the Brony fandom. Well, people, you have to understand, Rule 34 has been around since the internet has been around. It's not going to go away. The best thing you can do is try to avoid it. I understand that if you don't have Google Safe, Google safe Search on and you look up some... Um, 
Street Fighter pic uh, pictures, you're gonna see some horrible, horrible stuff, but... You are gonna see Blanca <laughs> doing things with Sakura that you should not be doing. Yeah, Yeah, but the thing is, like I said, Rule 34 has been here, it's going to be here, it's not going away. And another thing I have to say is, people who are in certain fandoms don't diss other fandoms. I mean, like, if you're in the, if you're in, if you're a brony, don't diss the people who like Adventure Time. If you're into Pokemon, don't diss Yu-Gi-Oh, although the whole Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh debate is kind of dead and done with ever since Yu-Gi-Oh practically died. <laughs> Yeah, basically, you know, be supportive of everybody's fandom, even though you're not a part of it. I mean, I'm not a brony, but I support the brony. And, uh, and people, like, let's just put an end to the whole, STOP LIKING WHAT I DON'T LIKE FRAME OF <laughs> Yes, because not everybody's going to, you know, like what you like, and not everybody is going to agree with everything so basically we are all different people you can't please everybody you like what we like <laughs> i mean i like rpgs that's what we like fighting games tv i kind of dabble in different genres tv is a uh, dips in everything <laughs> a skinny dipper she's a skinny dipper <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i mean just Support each other's fandoms. If you have a friend who's in another fandom that you are in and doesn't particularly like your fandom, that's their opinion. But don't be hating on each other. Yeah. But internet, we all have to we all have to use the same internet, so try to keep the bashing of each other down to a minimum. Same thing goes with music fandoms as well. If somebody likes Metallica oh my gosh. <laughs> over Megadeth. Oh my gosh, it never ends. <laughs> this is a never ending war and it needs to stop. <laughs> Leave them alone. This music, yes, Dave Mustaine and you know, James, they had their issues, they went their separate ways, yada yada yada. Do not be in the Megadeth and go on a Metallica, a Metallica YouTube video and start posting comments like that. Screw this song, maybe that's better. It's not doing anything. They both respectively make their own music, and just because they're part of the same genre doesn't mean that they need to fight. So, yeah. That is for today's news. Well, meetings news. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Yep. Yep. We don't have anything else to say here. Hey, but you don't say we don't have anything else to say. They can see the YouTube timer. We'll let that out later. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even have to. Like, improv is the best improv. Anyway, we're really dragging this out too long. I'm Lupino9. I'm Renton's girl. I'm DJ Satsu. No one cares. And <laughs> we are the Impromptu Trio. See you all, or you all can listen to us, or whatever next time. <laughs> <laughs> you are such an idiot. <laughs>